Mbraki Hawa Brakatha, Yahawasha, Brakji Hawa Brakatha, Yahawasha, Baha Sham, Rakakwadash, the honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations, to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. Lesson will be entitled No New World. Lord will you are edified. This video was inspired by a comment from Isaiah Ayaza and he posted there is no new world order I repeat he posted there is no new world order all right and this comment was posted on a video priest Ayash did entitled a sick and twisted society. So let's prove Isaiah wrong using the scriptures. Genesis 11 and verse 1 And behold, earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of, of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. <clears throat> and they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven and let us make us a name lest we be scattered abroad on the face of the whole earth and the lord yahweh came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men build and the lord yahweh said behold the people is one this is an example of a world order. How do we know? Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they began to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. And the reason why Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah authorized this is because this world order was after Satan. Okay? Now, we will and we are approaching a new world order. And that world order will be established by Yahweh Shah upon the request upon the will of our father Yahweh okay so the Lord Yahweh scattered them abroad from there on the face of all the earth and they left off to build the city therefore is the name of it called Babel or Babal Babal so like let me just say Babel Babel because the Lord Yahweh did there confound the language of all the earth, and from there did the Lord Yahweh scatter them abroad on the face of all the earth. But the point is, this is an example of a world order, okay? An ancient world order, all right? Another point. First Maccabees 1 and 41. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people and everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Shabbat. Or Sabbath okay this is another example of a world order 
an ancient world order. And Antiochus got this ideal from Genesis, the 11th chapter. And at this time frame, Esau again is attempting to create a new world order. <clears throat> Let's go to Psalms 83 and 1. Keep not you silence, O power, Hold not your peace and be not still of power. For lo, your enemies make a tumult, and they that hate you have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against your people and consulted against your hidden ones. The Israelites are the hidden ones, okay? Beginning with the elect. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And this is an objective within the concept or the goal of a new world order. Okay, which is being attained by Esau, so-called white people, and these other nations, okay, are in league with Esau. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against you. Who? The tabernacles of Edom, so-called white people. The Ishmaelites, so-called Arabians. Of Moab, so-called um, Chinese. And the Hagarines, so-called Arabians. Gabal, so-called Arabians. And Ammon, so-called Japanese and Amalek, okay, which is the head tribe of so-called white people, also known as so-called Jewish people. The Philistines, okay, which goes back to what? Hamites, okay. And the inhabitants of Tari, okay. So they have consulted together with one consent they are confederate against you why because they are attempting to attain a new world order of their own being led by the Edomites all right <clears throat> Joel 5 and 12 he disappoint the devices of the crafty. He is referring to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. The devices of the crafty, the crafty are the Edomites, okay? The international bankers, so-called white people, based on the lineage of their fathers, beginning with the Rothschilds, trickling down to the other Edomite families, the other 11 Edomite families. Was like you, the other 12 Edomite families that assist with running this system. Okay, he disappoints the devices of the crafty so that their hands, meaning might, cannot perform their enterprise. Enterprise in the Hebrew is referring to their success, going into the potential accomplishment of the new world order. Okay, also, these videos will be used for fair use purpose only. Please, I'm not a thief. This is a misunderstanding. I saw him carrying my iPhone. What is at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea, a new world order where diverse nations are drawn together in common cause to achieve the universal aspirations of mankind, peace and security. And this whole concept, okay, this whole concept comes from ways of old. Okay, we just read this 
in Genesis, what chapter was that? I want to say Genesis, the 11th chapter, okay? So Esau is not prolific. Okay, what he does is he takes a game plan, an ancient game plan, and he modifies it, all right? Um... The way we're going to win over the long term is not just militarily. We've got to win over uh, hearts and minds. And what that means is we've got to invest in countries that uh, have no educational infrastructure and have no uh, means for young people to, to get ahead. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. There world, you order, go. world order, world order, world so order, world order, world order, world order, world order, world order, world order that I think all of us would like to see. And this further proves what? That. These so-called presidents does the bidding for the elite bankers, no matter what party they represent. We are at an inflection point, I believe, in the world economy. Not just the world economy, in the world. It occurs every three or four generations. As one of, them, as the, uh, one of the top military people said to me in a secure meeting the other day, 60, 60 million people died between 1900 and 1946. And uh, since then, we established a liberal world order. And we are at an inflection point, I believe, in the world economy. Not just the world economy, in the world. It occurs every three or four generations. As one of, them, as the, uh, one of the top military people said to me in a secure meeting the other day, 60, 60 million people died between 1900 and 1946. And uh, since then, we established a liberal world order, and that hadn't happened in a long while. A lot of people died, but nowhere near. And that's what it's all about, a new world order. <clears throat> Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, the thing that has been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Under the sun. Okay, what's under the sun? Okay, earth. All right, and also the concept of these other countries or these heathen nations attempting to attain a new world order. Lord will, you're edified. Shalom.